Hello and welcome back to PandaNet. Today we got an 11k versus 12k. I am white. And again, I the other video is uploading and downloading yet, so I don't really know how the audio has turned out since I fixed it, but we shall see. Ooh, okay then. Well, um, this allows him to get the biggest approach. This makes it not so optimal for him. Taking a large knight, okay. This is projecting this way. If I approach here, this is working to build off of this. And we'll see what we do. Gotta remember, I do not get Comey here. Um, what I want to do is kind of break up this sort of stuff, so I want to end up going that way. Uh, the, you know, the, the usual thing is something like this, and then... Uh, and then he goes like, Knight's move or something. But I kind of want to push into here, so I'm going to change up the Joseki a little bit and lean. <laughs> Basically treat it like a 5-4, except for black has a stone there. I'm making I'm making it up. I'm going off Joseki book. I'm trying to go with the direction of play here. Um, and get heavily into this sort of territory. Um, so, yeah, that's like the usual Joseki move here. I can do this, lean on it to get some shape. Um, the cut goes to this move and I can get that for free. I mean, this is kind of how Avalanche starts. Um, so if he tries wedging me, we can go to Avalanche, but I have an extra stone. This seems like a really bad idea, but anyways, the point of this is to help offset this. And I'm trying to get a move in like here-ish. So let's try this. And see what he does. Alright, uh, so that means I can either cut here or kind of go to the avalanche plus two stones. Alright, so you're going to fix. Uh, if I descend here, that kind of eats up your entire corner. This is also kind of big. Uh, if you try uh, hunting here, that doesn't do anything. I can just hunt it back. So I think I want to... Well, what about pushing here? What does that do? I'm actually a stone behind by doing that. Uh, by doing that, I'm okay. It's kind of a capping move on that. Now he's just going to probably come along this side. Or he may take this move to extend from it. You're going to push immediately. Do I care? Well, if I do this, do you respond? How do you respond? The ladder works for me if you try cutting. Unless you get like this empty triangle move here, but I can't imagine why you'd want to do that. Um, no, that is not the right answer. Because if I come here now, what do you do? This is uh, like, uh, I mean, yes, this is. This is fairly strong, and you're coming that close to it. Uh, if I do this, and then you approach from this side, I can jump and then attack this. So, But, I don't know, do I... And this is where my attacking skills are very lacking. If I go low, it seems like he's way ahead and he can just like cap or something. I think I gotta go high. Are we going to start a running fight? Okay. Um, so you're offsetting my influence. But I'm, the whole point of this is just offset this. That's all I'm trying to do. Attaching underneath um, goes to this sort of variation. 
my my whole point is try and get um, a move or two over here yet. So um, I can poke at this because now this ladder is looking kind of dangerous. So I need to kind of protect this cut. And then after I do that, um, these wedges are kind of looking like a pain. So let's um, let's approach your large knight, I guess. So this group is fairly stable. It's not perfectly stable by any means, but okay. So you're invading high, which means I can attach underneath and be fine. Uh, you can try wedging, of course, but uh, because it's here, you're going to have some issues. Uh, the only move really is to cut. We'll see what you do from here. If you're doing that. Uh, well, what if I do this? What are you going to do now? It's actually a pretty powerful move against your stuff. You're highing, okay. That means I can capture this in a net now. And now if you wedge here, I'm gonna descend. Or capture this. I can get this move for free. Uh, I can get this move, and then that move, and then I get this move. This move leads to a net, uh, which then gives up this, unfortunately. If I pull back, he can ladder this into that. So it's a matter of what do I want. Making a stable group here looks good. Unfortunately, again, it makes make sure that he's stable, but if I don't do anything, he's going to kill both of them. So, yeah. Um, can I do something that does both? No, because as soon as I do that, he's going to do that. So I, I pick one, he grabs the other. If I descend here, he needs to do that, and then I can Atari and turn, and he's in trouble then. Right? I need to net this stone. So you're gonna tarry that, okay? Um, this is sente against that. That's nice. That's a nice move. All right. So now that I got some stones here, I can actually invade into this thing. I'm trying to remember how though. So this is now fairly stable. I can get. Oh, you know what? I can actually capture the stone. I can Atari here. No, I can't because, well, hold on. I can Atari here, you do that. I pull out here. If you go here, I go here. You have to fix, and then I can go here. And then you can cover, and then I can Atari, and you do that, and I Atari back. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, if you capture directly, I'll go here, and then capture this stone. And then I'm really stable. And you have no eyes yet. Unless I'm missing something pretty obvious. Um, the point of this is to do that so I can pull this out. And then all you can do is attire me and then these stones are separated. If you attire me this way, I go up here, you're forced to capture. And then I can turn. Um, if you try honeying, then I can do that. If you just go here, I can go here. Uh, that becomes Atari, but then you need to fix. And then I can cut this off and capture because that's self-Atari. Yeah, let's try that. You follow me? <laughs> I know I'm fighting locally. This isn't big enough by any means yet. The point of this is to get rid of that eye, and now I can save my stone over here. Now this group is fairly stable. This group is fairly stable. And this group doesn't have any eyes yet. So going back to attack this, is that what I wanted to do? Capping. What does capping do? This is free. It's not big enough though. Um, yeah, like I said, this is still invadable. Uh, especially with this move. I can actually come in here, I think. I think that's how this works. Because I have a stone here. And again, this does not have any eyes yet. This descent is kind of sentient against. 
this descent is pretty big. Um, Vihan is there. And he pulls back. I don't know. I still think uh, attacking this is pretty big. Now you can get this and that and actually get an eye here. So if I get this move, then you're going to jump. And then I can not really attack it anymore. If I cap you directly, or if I knights move you, again, you're going to be able to get an eye here, but that's okay with me. Ra -da -da, ra -da. I think attacking you is the biggest thing I can do right now. So let's do that. Alright, uh, wedging, does wedging work? I do not believe so. So, now that we got that, um, this is kind of a poke at that. And then I can honey. Honey is pretty big right now. If you try cutting, I can do that and work to get some stuff over here now. If I just honey directly, we go to cross cut, extend, cut, extend. You know what? I want to fight a cross cut. Because ladders are my friend. You're not gonna, you're not gonna, what? Darn. Which means I need to fix now. Wow, you're going to let me do this? Cool! This is Sente against that. Uh, that makes this a false eye, of course. Cut, do that, but that doesn't matter. This push... Cut, does that work? No. But this sets up that move, which is nice. Uh, this goes to that. He can cut and then do that. Cut, do that, do this. Atari capture, and then I'm to the outside yet, and I still have some stuff here. So this is threatening uh, this push and cut. The wedge, actually it's threatening the wedge too, isn't it? Alright, so now you have a bamboo joint. Grats. See this, that, pull back. This, that, cut. This seems really slow. So you, you have guaranteed one eye up here. Uh, if you go here, I can actually... Um, I'm just looking at some of the other stuff here. Like, this really threatens that wedge. And I have to respond, otherwise he can cut through. So you can go here and get your two eyes. Okay, so his group is stable. That was a crappy attack. So, back to uh, using all the free influence I got to do something like this extension here. Seems like awkward spacing, but it's five space extension from this. So you're pushing that. Um, I don't care if you connect underneath because you're already alive. So yeah. So I'm going to take this extension now it's five space from here you're pulling that out did I miss something um, let's see there's this Atari and that it's just a net right um, Atari 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 squeeze dead You're alive. I, I get it. Now I gotta be cautious. This is double Atari now, so I need to um, prevent that. Something like this. Or this. This actually works pretty good. Allows them to get this honey, but I don't care, really. Um, I need to do something, though. This is pretty good. Good enough, anyway. Yeah. Um, I can get this for free. So basically, I'm, I'm working to build up quite a bit of uh, stuff here now. Uh, this is still open, of course. Um, well, since it's here, I might as well take it, right? 
This is just a forcing move. I don't really expect really anything from it. But since he connected, yay! Um, so this stone ends up dying in the end. Whatever. Uh, this is also a forcing move. And good for uh, Gote endgame stuff. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to take an enclosure. Works well with my extension. The next direction to go is to extend up here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, sure, why not? It's Sente, I guess. Alright. So we basically destroy the whole upper side. He has some points in here. I have a lot more um, potential. So you're connecting, making an empty triangle? What? What is this madness? This works really well with this. Um, if I just go here, I'm okay, right? Or if I just do this. Wedge, Atari, cut, cut. Ah. Ah. Okay. Really slow, really slow, really slow. But now I can go and cut this stone off. So, haha, -ha, yeah, see? Sure. This, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna back off a little bit and take this for a pencil. He's letting me build a big framework. This is still invadable. This is fairly sealed off and stuff, but um, I could also get a, a enclosure going that way. I think this is bigger though. This kind of threatens that, and then we can do this sort of diagonal stuff. I'd rather go a little bit closer, just to limit the invasions possible here. You're coming in high. But, but, and now you're going to have to try to live while I get to seal on the rest of my territory? Alright. This will be fine. Uh, that doesn't work. It goes to Ko. Um, if I do it right, that is, that is the move, I believe. Um, do I just do this? And then if you do that, I come around here, and I did not practice this 3-3 uh, three, three invasion too well. Here to here, if you come around here, I can cut. I think I screwed up already. Um, Alright, I'll build a wall facing this stuff, that's fine. This is Sente against that. So, okay. Is this cut a problem? Do you, are you alive? Uh, honey, fix. Take the other 2-2. Two, two. Do that, do this, do that. Descend, you can't. Um, I don't think this lives, does it? Da, 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 da. Da, da. Uh, I think that's the key point, right? Three stone wall, key point is here. He Ataris, I go here. I descend. Well, the whole point is to get this in there. So if I just kind of fill in these three. Is this the key move? Okay. And then if you go here, then I can descend. Ooh, that's interesting. Oh, I got it. Okay, so if I just... Um 
if I descend here now, you can capture and you're alive, right? That's how this is going to work. I can go here and then you need to... If I come here now, and you capture, then I descend and you're alive. Okay, so you're alive. Alright, that's fine. We're going to go back to attack in this one then. We'll save those for co-threats. <laughs> I'm not expecting to kill this, by the way. Uh, I think I should have probably come here first instead. And that's why. Well, that's okay. Uh, at what point can I do this? I think I have to go one. Well, if I go one more, then I'm just going to, of course, block here. But I'll go one more. That's fine. Uh, this push and cut is kind of a problem now if I want to save that stone, but again, I already said don't care. So now I can get this move, which is fairly big. I could do a placement here. This looks interesting. I could also just start getting some more capping moves in. This cut is not an issue. This looks like a key point, though. Sure. It's a throw-in to get some more algae is all it is. Again, not expecting to kill this group. With the profit that I'm going to get from this and this corner, I should be fine. Um... Yeah. Now you can, of course, capture this, and if I can work to seal it in. This is still invadable, as far as I know. Uh, capping move, capping move, capping move. This is pretty good against that, isn't it? Boom to boom. That works nice. This makes it so that you don't have any eyes again. My next move then will be here. Um, again, don't really care about that stone, so... It's not big enough. Now I can cut here. That looks interesting. Uh, if you try doing anything like that. This is also pretty weak. Um, if you haunt it here, then I can just go down. So I think I can, I think I can do this one, right? Two space jump. Yeah. Yeah. Bamboo joint, that's fine. Uh, this goes to that and I'm alive, right? Or then I cut it off. Because this cuts it off. So I'm hoping this one goes endgame. The last game I recorded today was uh, a resign about a third of the way through. I am by no means an expert. I'm only, what am I, like a, like a quarter of the way through this introduction book. Um, just descending, right? Descending is sente against that, so that's nice. Because if I can get this, yeah, like I said, it's sente against that. Um, and actually... This is also Sente. <laughs> uh, this is Sente to force him to do that. Uh, this is Sente to force him to do that. Which again gives me some more cool threats later. So he still has Mei to live. Um, but the point is that we're trying to make sure he doesn't have eye space. Because he's trying to live locally here now. Poking and prodding and poking and prodding. Um, he might have a chance if he gives up those three. So if he goes to something like here. 
Huh. Well, uh, I think if I just do this, it's dead, right? I'm not really worried about that, Sente. This is... Okay. So now we're kind of getting to endgame. Uh, this goes to that, and then I can actually capture that. So this is Sente against this stuff. Uh, this goes to that, goes to that, and then to the ladder. So you Sente against this. Making nice big boxes. Getting more points. Uh, should I save this now? Is that big enough? I don't think so. I'm going to invade the corner here. Where's the invasion point? Uh, I think here, right? Is that is that right? Cross cut. Shoulder hit. Shoulder hit looks good. Let's start with that. Now that we have the shoulder hit, now we can do this sort of move. Is that right? I can also just play it nice and do something like that, seal it in. Uh, but I'm... I don't know. I'm in a mood today. Let's try this. It looks interesting. Gotta have fun, right? So if he uh, defends his corner, I will cross-cut. If he goes here, then I can cut. Atari, Atari. Uh, is there any other benefit? I mean, I can do this. This goes to that, which leads to this, and then I can cut those off. That looks interesting. Uh, what else can he do? If he cuts, I can Atari this way. and This looks like a move. Uh, if he goes here, I can get this for free. So we're just kind of sealing him in here. Uh, this is, of course, a good endgame move for him, but... Uh, what else can we do? Doo -doo -doo -doo. There's a few neutral points in here. I'm not really going to count that as anything. Do I have enough room to live? I have one eye, one eye. I should be fine. Okay. So let's work on endgame now. Uh, working to seal some of this stuff in. Like, this jump is going to be kind of a pain. So this looks good. This also looks good. This cap looks good. Shoulder hit. Shoulder hit. Shoulder hit, poke, bump. Atari, nope. Ah, uh, shoulder hit looks kind of interesting. This would go up like that and seal this in. Um, this gives some more prospects. Or a cap. Let's do a cap. Alright, so we're doing a wedge. I can do a throw in and then that. To remove the eye, but again, it's connected, so... Is that double Atari? That looks like a double Atari. This prevents that, and he has to come back and fix before doing that. If I do this, this is double Atari, and a lot more bad things will happen, so... Uh, so if he does this, I do that, and then he connects. If he throws in... Oh, that sucks. So I'm going to lose uh, those two stones. So it's four points, but if I do this and then he throws in, I can't capture because that's self Atari. So I have to give up those two stones. Which is unfortunate, but it happens. But I get Sente, so that's good, right? Uh, this actually protects a few points. So is this. I think this one's better though. But since he let me come in here, I can actually attach here, right? Uh, if he tries doing this sort of thing, I can capture something. Uh, so there's this small thing here. This is fairly large too, isn't it? Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, now if his next move is here, I can actually do this and seal that in Sente. 
uh, rather than pull back for a couple points. So instead of that, I'm going to... This is not really Sente until I do this. If I throw in first and then do this, then that becomes Gote. Okay. This looks like a move. Because the poke, you can cut, and Atari, and capture. I lose, what, one, two, three points here? In Sente, or in, in Gote for him. Uh, here, I actually work to seal this in pretty well. I'm actually looking at just doing this, just uh, rather than this. This leads to that, which leads to that, which leads to a cut. Go here, Atari, down, and ladder, so that's kind of bad. But just shoulder hit. And just let him seal it in. Uh, this isn't really a peep, so yeah, he can go up. Which allows me to do this, which is nice. Now I can get this Hani over here. Unfortunately, I did give up Sente to do that. Or not. Uh, let's see this. Uh, so if he jumps here, basically eliminates all these points. If I go there myself, or if I do this, I think this is better, actually. It looks like a key point. So you're cutting there. Um, okay. Yeah, it's a couple points. Uh, this looks like a couple points as well. This push and cut doesn't quite work. Oh, you can cut from this side. This Atari up. It does allow us. Uh, this helps reinforce this weakness. Yeah, I knew that was coming. I could have probably attached to it, but. Poking, um, that doesn't work because of this. This is actually a really cool move. Because if, if he tries poking it either way, then uh, I can just block. Um, is that a thing? No, because I can undercut you. So if I... Wait, what does blocking get me? Blocking doesn't get me anything. This push and cut is still a thing. So let's uh, take a knight of this. I can actually poke at your shape here. That looks interesting. This wasn't anything really. You're fixing there, okay. Poking here doesn't do anything. Uh, now this push and cut is kind of an issue, so I will... Well, if I just attach here, then it doesn't matter, right? So now if he pushes and cuts, I can just let him connect, because... Uh, Actually, I don't need to. This, I mean, yeah, you can get this free Atari, but it doesn't do anything. So, let's do that. Yep. And now I can get this free Atari and a Panuki, which would be nice. Uh, so I can get this free Atari. That and that. Table shapes are nice, yeah. Uh, anyway, so we have this monkey jump here, this goes to that, and then there could be a ko going on. So I'd rather do this first, to force that, and then I can actually get this hane. Eh. Alright, uh, what other moves can we do here? Um, is there anything I'm missing? Because I know on this sort of thing it's kind of looking pretty shaky. This is a point in gote. That is a point. Does this do anything? This exposes that cut, which could be interesting. Forces him to fix, and then... So that's looking pretty good. Yep. Um, does this do anything? This looks like a better move. Cut doesn't work. Turning here...
that exposes this, but and then I'm I, but with this I'm connected to that, so I don't really care if he pushes in here. The point. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, do, do, do. does this look good? That seems like a big goate move. Is there any sente points? Is is what I need to ask myself right now. Sente, sente, sente. This is not sente. This is kind of sente. That is goate. Is this move? You push, you cut. No, that's not a good move. This looks better. Uh, this also looks pretty good. This throw-in is a goate point for him. Then you can come out there, cut, capture. Um, is that anything? I just defend here and you push through and cut. If I just defend here and push through and you cut, this becomes on its own. I don't really like that. So let's uh, do this. I can be a little bit more aggressive here. You might actually live with this. Because of this move, goes to here, you can cut, I can. I have to be a little bit more aggressive, like this move I think is the right one. To threaten a monkey jump. I pull back here, this, that, push, defend. I don't think you can live. You have to take this point. Or wait, what if you just do this? Then I, okay, you are going to take that point. Now if I do this, push, block. I think that kills you, right? This goes to that cut, so I need to pull back. If you take this, then I go here. My stomach be growling. It's almost supper time. Supper time! Epic meal time! Okie dokie, so we're gonna go to that right now, huh? If I just capture, I don't care, right? I don't have to respond to that. You descend, I go here. It's double the tire. If you go here, I capture. And then you have to respond, and I can actually make this point in Sente. Um, let's see, if you get that move, this actually reduces a few points. I'm still looking at this monkey jump. Um, the problem I'm foreseeing is something like this, which then leads to a ko, and I don't really want to fight a ko. So if I take this first, it goes to this, and then I have kind of issues with this stuff. So if I Atari from this way and then do that, you can push through here. So let's, uh, I know it's empty triangle, but forcing this move, so I can do this. The notion being that I don't care if this gets cut off. I'm okay. At least I think I'm okay. And this connection helps solidify this. Yup. And if you push in here now, I just fix. Um, actually, I think I'm going to fix like this. 
fix. And if you push it here, I think this is a better fix, isn't it? You can have this Atari for free, of course. But now this is still, yeah. I was like, ooh. Uh, does that work? No, because I can just do this, right? Uh, if you try capturing here, I can do this. You can do that and do that and do this. And then it's a co. I don't really want a co. So if I connect here, that forces you to connect. If I, oh, okay. if I do this, he can Atari with this, and then I have to capture. And then after he does this, I connect. You can throw in for a co. Atari, and actually it's a it's a uh, shortage of liberty, so I can't do that. So I'm gonna connect here. Okay, um, now I can I can start a cold thing like this. Um, his next move will be here, and then you can do a throw in thing. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's see. What about this? This looks good. How about this? This. Gote, Gote, Sente ish. Uh, what about throwing for you? It doesn't really do anything. What this? This? That, this. That, this, that, this, that. That seems really bad though. I don't know why. Clamp? 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 Is clamp a problem? Clamp! Uh, what about his clamp? Clamp connects underneath and like before, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yep. So again, his points are these three down here, kind of four if he wants it in Gote. He's got. Yep. I don't know. I, this is probably bad timing on my part. Uh, I gotta check this, okay? <laughs> this is not Atari yet. <laughs> Still having flashbacks from the previous game, so. <sighs> so if you connect, it's Atari, and then I just capture. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm still chastising, not chastising myself. Reprimanding? I don't know what the word is. Punishing myself for that. And it's a one by resignation. Yeah, that's not surprising. Again, he only had three points here. Well, let's see what the square smear says. Is there a square smear here? Oh, I am so sorry. I forgot about the coordinates. I am sorry. I forgot. I had a sticky note. It's right here. I remembered last time. I forgot this time. Coordinates. Uh, can we do score estimator? No, we can't. Alright, so save. It's Toku. Songbird versus Toku. Home. Open file. Starts with my name, so Songbird versus Toku. That must be this one. Okay. Uh, go to the end. Again, sorry about the coordinates. Estimate score. Should be pretty, yeah, 100 points. Um. Yeah, this, he let me build a giant moyo. This, oh, that's right, it's flipped. Uh, that was, oh yeah, him trying to live in the corner there. This is his. So if you work for PandaNet, can you explain why it's flipping the board like that? And maybe work to fix it? Because even if I load it in uh, KGS, it flips the board. Just the way that it saves the SGF, it's flipped. The only way I can not do that is use an alternate program that allows me to flip the board, but... I don't like how that one reviews. Uh, so anyways, going back to play. Yeah, basically I had all of these points right here. I had a huge amount of territory. This amounted to two, four, well, there's some captures in here. So four, six, eight, nine, ten points with this whole group. Um, letting them solidify on the third line here while well, I just made my group stronger. Um, very interesting to have those facing me. And with this move, I thought he would 
Oh, that's I. Well, with this move, I thought he would approach over here and maybe set up some sort of Chinese. Um, this is me making up a uh, Joseki ish thing. Make one group, uh, make his group heavy. He decided to capture that one stone, which is, you know, good. Allowed me to settle my group. Back to attacking it. Uh, allowed me to get this undercutting of his corner for free. Was that a good move for him? Uh, wedge and then cut? Yes, okay, that's right. That's the whole point of the wedge and cut. Because uh, then I could get this poke for free. And, yep, okay, so that's okay. Uh, threatening that, made an eye from Gote. I'm just taking big points here. He's threatening to connect, but again, it's already alive, so I don't care if he connects. I, I don't, whatever. Um, I don't like this move, because if I'm going to make an enclosure, I should have made an enclosure first. I think. I should have made an enclosure first. Um, this is kind of like a Chinese type formation. Actually, this is a Chinese formation. Uh, that didn't work because it was just a net. I thought he was going for some forcing moves, but... So he let me get an enclosure. That's nice. Just let me get all the big points. That was a strange invasion. Um, since there wasn't anything here, why didn't you just approach? Uh, this should have gone to Ko. Um, I don't know what I did wrong because I had this small light. It should go. It should go to Ko. He can't live unconditionally like he did. I messed up somewhere. I'm thinking it was this move, although maybe I should have just come around this side and get this sort of wedge thing going on. So if I go here, he goes there. I go here. He captures, I do this, and that should have gone to Ko. I'm going to look that up afterwards, because I messed that up. It's going to bug me. I was looking to, like, do something with this so I could descend here for free. Uh, this is an interesting move. If I would have captured, he could have Atari'd. Um, I could have come out, capture, recapture, Atari, connect. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Do this, do that. And then I go here. That becomes self Atari. Oh, you know what? If I had captured that, I think I could have killed it. I misread that. I was thinking um, this, and then I would make like a bent four. But if he goes here, I don't connect. I connect out. If he captures, I recapture. And then he's down to one eye, and he's dead. It's it's a coal for life. Or it's a coal, but it's not really coal. So I messed up here. I should have just captured. If I would have captured, uh, if you tried going here, I would have left it alone. I would have actually gone here. Because in order for him to Atari me here, that'd be self Atari. So he'd have to connect. Um, and then, even, so, yeah, he'd be dead. I should have just captured that right there. That was a misread. He could have died. He could have died. He could have died. And maybe that's why he came back to do that uh, later on somewhere in here. Like, yeah, when I descended here, um, he captured. So I, I could have killed that before. Huh. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the right move, but it did give me a couple forcing moves, which I kind of liked. Let him seal in. I lost those two stones. That's kind of silly of me. After this wedge. But, you know, it's only four points. Uh, yep, yep. Uh, I would have. Ah. Anyway. I'm just debating on uh, that attachment. I think by going where I did on uh, R6 here, it didn't give him as many forcing moves. That was a slow move. That was kind of forced. That was a dumb move on my part. He wasn't able to live there. Just taking big points. Monkey jump. And yeah, one by resign. I had to take a screenshot of that quick.
So I'm going to add it to my thumbnail. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do like it. If you really enjoyed it, please share it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And if you have any comments, questions, feedback, suggestions, criticisms, anything of that sort, please leave them below in the comment section. And again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.